and I am the social worker. Like that is my name, the social worker. Um, I do EMDR, op play, which is play therapy with um, autistic kids. I am play therapy certified and will soon be TheraPlay certified and have my registered play therapy and my clinical license kind of all at the same time in a couple of months. So, um, that's just a little bit about me. I began my journey to becoming a social worker long before I attended Newman. From 2007 to 2009, I was a case manager at Comcare Children's Services. During my time there, I had several clients who I worked with who saw the same play therapist in town. As I built a working relationship with her and learned what she did, I decided I want to do what she did. I wanted to play with kids and get paid to do it because I thought that was awesome. So when the time was right for my family, I chose Newman as the place I wanted to earn my master's degree. I had looked into the marriage and family, pro marriage and family therapy program at Friends as well as WSU's program in social work, but I felt that Newman's program was a better fit for me and what I wanted to do with my career. At the time, I knew I wanted to do therapy, but I also wanted to have options if therapy wasn't the right path for me, and social work is able to give that. While I was at Newman, I had two amazing practicum places. My first one was at Communities and Schools at Oak Lawn Elementary. While I was there, I learned about a demographic that I was not super familiar with. I was not as educated with that demographic as I thought I was, but I opened my mind and learned about the people I was working with and for. And also the tornado hit that year, so things got really interesting. Um, it was an eye-opening and a rewarding placement because of all of the kids and families and teachers that I got to work with. Bev was my uh, practicum supervisor and she was an awesome mentor, had so much knowledge to share with me. The teachers at the school were also amazing and I was able to form wonderful relationships with them and I still um, have a lot of contact with some of them. During my second year, I was placed at Youthville in the HEART program. HEART stood for Healing and Empowering Adolescents Recovering from Trauma. Right, Nina? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Nina helped found that program, so we have the co-founder of that program. Um, in this program, there were two in-home family therapists and then a recruiter, which is Miss Nina, and um, around 10, I was thinking 10 kids, 10-ish in the actual program, kids, something like that, and their families. And so we would go into either the foster home or the, the biological home once a week and work with the families on, on mending bonds, on learning how to communicate with each other, on healing trauma that had happened because kids come into foster care for a reason and there's some sort of, sort of trauma that happened. Um, we'd also have group once a week with all of the heart kids, which was very interesting to have highly, 10-ish, highly traumatized teens in one room for two hours. It was, it was, it was definitely a learning experience, but it was so awesome. Carrie McHale was my mentor at Youthville and has since become a, just a wonderful friend, and I'm, I'm blessed to have met her. She's passionate about the program that she co-founded, so Carrie and Nina co-founded that program and wanted to help anyone she could. In addition to my amazing practicum placements, I had awesome instructors while I was here. I learned so much from each one of them and incorporate a little piece of them into my work. To them, I say thank you for all the support, encouragement, and guidance that they gave me. So when I'm writing, just for all of you actual social work students. When I'm writing a paper, I hear Sue talking to me. <laughs> uh, is this what this is supposed to say and how you're supposed to say it? So listen to that inner Sue. It's wonderful. Uh, since graduation, I've had two different jobs. 
Two months after graduation, I was hired as a children's therapist at ComCare Children's Services. Since I had worked at ComCare before, I knew what I was getting myself into. I, had a high, I knew I would have a high volume of clients, a lot of turnover in the people I worked with, not a whole lot of guidance from upper management, and time constraints on everything. But at the time, I felt that that was what I needed. I was fresh out of school. I, I knew stuff, but I didn't know stuff. And that was a place for me to learn what I needed to know to further my career. I'm super glad that I worked at ComCare, although my, my journey there didn't end the way I wanted it to. Um, I, I learned a lot and I got to meet really, really great people and really awesome families and made a lot of connections in the community. <clears throat> So when calm care was no longer a good fit for me, I joined a private practice where I am currently. Private practice opened my mind, my eyes, to adults and couples as clientele as well. And today I actually found out that I wanted to share with you, um, because when I first went into therapy, I was like, I'm only working with kids, I'm not working with adults, I'm not working with couples, I just wanna work with kids. Um, and today I found out that the BSRB is becoming more strict on the, um, the supervision plans in that they don't want you to just work with kids or just work with adults. They want you to be very well-rounded so that you can work with everybody, which I think is awesome. So if you just want to work with kids, probably going to have some issues, just let me say that, because that's where my mind was. Um, so, in conclusion, choosing Newman was the best decision I could have made in regards to my higher education. The instructors here care about you and want you to succeed. They want you to succeed because once you graduate, are licensed, and practicing somewhere, you will be their colleagues. They will no longer be your professors. You will be on equal playing ground. Listen to them. Learn from them. Soak up their knowledge because your employers, when you get a job, they're not going to care if you had a 4.0. They're not going to care that you aced every test or that you bombed every test. They're going to care about what your professors say about you. They're going to be a reference for you. They're going to care about how you work with others, how you interact with other professionals in the field, how you respond to constructive criticism your cultural competence, your willingness to learn, and your work ethic. All of that stuff is the stuff that matters. A 4.0, they really don't care about. I care about all of these things too because you will also be my colleague. And just like there are good and bad of every kind of person in every profession, there are good and bad social workers. And I want to work with the good ones because I tell you, I have worked with a lot of bad ones. And I don't want you guys to be one of the bad ones coming from my school. Mm. So you all hear that? Mm. <laughs> don't be so, one of the bad ones. That's an amen right there. <laughs> listen, learn, and love what you do. Thank you. <laughs>